This is the DJI Focus Pro. So what I want to do in this video is really see how well this performs. And to do that, I'm going to shoot a little sequence out here, sand dunes. And I'm going to shoot all of this on these vintage lenses. I have a 37 millimeter and a 58 millimeter. These are actually known as the dune glass now because these vintage lenses were used to shoot the movie Dune 2, which is pretty wild. Now these are Cine rehoused versions and the ones I have are 3D printed. I just found someone on Etsy that was doing these and I wanted to make a video with it testing out the Focus Pro because the Focus Pro gives you autofocus on manual focus lenses. So after driving all day, we finally got to a set of sand dunes out here in the Nevada desert. And we have two hours until sunset. So the goal is to find a series of unique compositions while testing out the autofocus capabilities of the DJI Focus Pro. Now our challenge is to capture enough footage that will cut nicely together and hopefully create a sequence that has a visual story from beginning to end. But our first hurdle is trying to figure out how this system works. So I need to calibrate this. Once I've got the focus motor, everything turned on, Basically, I have a little screen here and it shows me how far the distance is. So I need to put Jake at one meter away and then set my focus on the camera to what is critical focus. Now I walk four meters away. I change the focus manually and between those two points, it's always gonna be accurate with the autofocus. So here's the first test footage with the autofocus engaged. We just pulled this out of the box and this is our first time calibrating it. The Focus Pro arrived right before I left this trip, so I didn't have any time to test it before we got out here. However, the whole process is very intuitive. To do this with better accuracy, we should have been using a focus chart and a tripod. However, we're just winging it and seeing how good this is in a quick run and gun setting because this is often how me and Jake are out filming. Without changing any of the settings, this is the autofocus accuracy that we are getting right away. And looking back at this footage, I'm very impressed of how well it's working. And from here, you can dial in the settings and make it even better. So every lens that you put on with the Focus Pro, you have to calibrate it. And you could actually save these calibrations, but even so, like as I'm filming it, you need to check it to make sure that it's, it's always working. But basically it does an auto calibration. Every time you put the new lens on, it starts the calibration. Oh, so it automatically checks the AB endpoints when you turn it on? I, I have that setting turned on, yeah. Oh, okay, that's good. The things you learn when you're testing stuff like in the middle of nowhere. So an easy way to just shoot a sequence whenever you get to a scene is think of it in nine shots. This is what I call the nine shot formula. Two extreme wides, two wides, two mediums, two close ups, and something unique. It's like an easy kind of Cheat code. Oh wow, is this really peaking on audio? <laughs> Whose was it? <laughs> okay, so let's start with a shot. You're gonna look at the dunes and then you're gonna pan over. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be walking through. Uh, I'm talking to you. I know. You're over there just filming. What's I'm going on here? Nice, I'm getting the nice lens flare. Uh, okay, okay. So this, these lenses flare and they have a really unique look when you're shooting the sun. So let's start shooting towards the sun that way. Like, yeah, see if let's you start can, up there, kind of come down. Yeah, and just like hold around there. Okay. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk into scene. Be an opening shot. The first couple shots I like to get, usually when I'm shooting something like this, I like to start super wide and then work my way in um, to get all the coverage. Yeah, and then we're gonna end up walking 10 miles as we do take after take after take. This first shot is with the 37 millimeter and we're shooting all of the Focus Pro footage using the Sony A1 and 8K. In the edit, what I'm thinking is like wide shot, go into maybe like medium where I bend down, maybe feel the sand. Get a tight of the sand. Get a tight, and then we'll do a tight of the sand, but okay. let's get the medium. Yeah. We'll find like a nice frame with like the edge of the dune. So we're kind of like approaching it, get down, touch the sand. Maybe do a little thump, thump. Where's that sandworm? Oh, one of the things when you're filming in sand like this is uh, you kind of get one take in a location because of footprints. So you can see where I was walking earlier. Yeah, we can't shoot here now. So I think we need to shoot a little bit over there. Maybe we need to throw on the 50. 
So with the 3D printed housing that I got on the 58 millimeter, there's no filter thread rings. So we're trying to handhold ND filters in front of this lens while we're using it. Now, if I was shooting this, trying to be super cinematic, I'd probably hold focus in points, but we're really trying to test this LiDAR system. Oh, don't want to put off, tracks. Off here. We're, we're gotta be super <laughs> careful. So I'm letting the focus like bounce between things because we really want to see how good it snaps. All right, this next shot, I want to get like the hand holding the sand super close up. Think we could do that? One of the things with vintage lenses is the minimum focus distance isn't like super great. I'm working right now on the Sony 16 to 25 and this lens has a minimum focus distance that's like razor thin. Here, we're at 16, let's get in here. Like, this is ridiculous, just in there. But, you know, these lenses that we're playing with definitely can't do that, but that's okay. We don't, we don't need to get up in my nose. I you love shooting in sand this with is, with a handheld ND filter. Yeah, like this is this is the fun part. Okay, I'm gonna go down, like here. And you want me to follow you, kind of that handheld feel down. Yeah, and up? yeah. Okay. Let's do that. Yep. Right. Woo! All right. So next shot. You come around here. Now close up of me, looking past camera. And then Do putting it. your stuff on? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These lenses look amazing. And when we can get Jevin to put his stuff on right, it's it's golden. This is my big my big acting debut. He's doing pretty good hitting his marks, considering the marks keep changing with the sand blowing around in the wind. This is it's not easy shooting in sand dunes. There's I have a lot of respect for those guys going when they go out to God, sand dunes with all that equipment. Crazy. Working. So I think we'll switch back to the 37. Let's start climbing these dunes and get a few more shots for the sequence. Cause typically nine shots, two extreme wides, two wides, two mediums, two close ups, one something unique. That's my general rule to be able to like cut a fun little sequence together. So we got a wide, me walking into frame. We got a medium, we got two different close ups. Wide, extreme wide, wide, medium, close up. The odd, but the odd shots, the drone shots. Let's get a wide shot of me climbing a dune, either from below or above. Maybe I'll make him climb ahead of me. This is cool with these rippling, like this look here, or this into the sun with the flares. We want the flares, that's why we're using these lenses. I'm gonna get a few different walking shots into these like cool dunes. Let's do it. I think we wanna do a tide of your feet. Like just get really tight in your feet, like digging through the sand and the sand moving with as you're starting to head up these dunes. Let's do that and then we'll get into the wide shots. Sick. Good. Okay. Not only do I get to be first AC on this project, I also get to PA. The life of solo creators. <sighs> For this next shot, I want to get another extreme wide. And we're gonna use a, a frame within a frame because, you know, we're shooting frames. But there's this tree here and it creates this nice arc and there's another tree over here on the left. We're gonna frame up the two sides of the shot and then I'm gonna be walking on the ridge in the distance. I'm gonna open up all the way to an F2. All of this is gonna be soft, out of focus, and then you're just gonna see the crisp, you know, sharpness of the ridge line and me walking up there. Dirty in the frame is a really cool technique to use when you're out filming. That basically means when you put things in front of the lens that kind of cover the frame, you wanna look for frames within the frame, which is like a way to frame up your subject or just like elements like a tree branch or a part of the sand dune or something that would be into the frame. When you're on dunes like this, if it's dry enough, and if it's quiet enough, there's not much sand and you kick sand down the side, there's like this alien rumble and you could feel the whole dune shaking. Let's see if we can make that happen. A little side quest here. We gotta get a little bit more height. We're gonna make it sing. Because of course we do. Ah. To the top! That's a trip. <laughs> That's wah, cool. Wah, 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 wah. 
sand dune. Let's get that sand warp coming. So while the sun is like just over this sand dune, I wanna get a couple medium shots. One, you know, right behind, maybe one three quarters off to the side. Get lots of flaring going on. And uh, always shooting from the darker side if possible because that immediately will give you more cinematic looking footage. You don't want to blast your subject with light. This just looks washed out. You want to have this kind of a look. All right, let's do this. Now, as we're doing shot six, if I could just ask you to hit that subscribe button and also let me know your thoughts about this style of video down below in the comments. And if you are someone who's looking to grow your YouTube channel, then I have a complete course for you that I've built and I'll link to it down below in the description. All right, last few shots. Let's do this. Whoa. Holy, but there's two giant military planes above us. Oh. Like just up there. All right, let's let's grab these shots. Uh, let's play. Yeah, that was good. Let's do one shot tracking from the side just to get it. With this, yeah. Yeah. So you'll be here, and then I'm gonna get that super wide, and then wait. You want me to be here? Yeah. You want to do it up here? I'm gonna. I could do it here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because that looks great. Because you've got a perfect outline on you right now. Uh. Okay, speeding. So what I think I'll do is I'll start walking and then I'll start running so we can have some, a change of what I'm doing. And then we can cut to like a drone shot running on the top of the dune. Okay. So this will be the last shot on this camera. Gotcha. And then we can swap the drone. All right, 140. Just love sprinting in sand. So, last shot I wanna get. We've tested plenty with this LiDAR. Gotten a lot of really cool footage testing these lenses, but with my nine shot rule, I typically do one unique shot. So, we're gonna get the drone up and we're gonna do some running shots, running across the sand dune. And if we could call a sandworm, well, I'll do a shot jumping on it, you know, riding it. But uh, yeah, I think that'll wrap up the sequence. Oh man. Okay, this is a sick joke. He's making me do this again. The goal is, at the end of this video, run, 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 jump off the cliff. Just like they do in the movie. But uh, this sucks. This is my fourth time, well, fifth or sixth time, sprinting across this ridge line to try and get this timing right. Last time, I can't do it again. Yeah. That's a wrap! Ah. All right, finally. Let's see how all that cuts together. Let's see how it turned out.
This was a fun project, and it gave us a cool way to be able to test out this DJI Focus Pro. Overall, super impressed with it, and it's something that I'll definitely use when I'm working with manual focus lenses. Now next, you should check out this video right here, which is the last time I met up with Jake Sloan, and he took me into the frozen wilderness of Alaska to test a new camera.